Our next question is from Evan. Thanks, Evan. Thanks very much. Uh, Rebecca, this question's for you. Um, you said um, that you were aspiring to produce or promising to uh, give a $400 reduction in electrician, electricity to Tasmanians. Is that going to be in addition to the $275 that uh, the Prime Minister promised before, when he was in your position? Thanks. And I'm really happy to talk about electricity prices because there's no doubt that Tasmanians are hurting with the cost of living and it will be my priority as government as a Premier and Government to take urgent action to relieve some of those pressures. We've been clear that Tasmanians should pay a Tasmanian price for power. At the moment we're paying a mainland price and yet for 100 years we've invested in hydro. From the 1st of July under a Labor Government, Tasmanians would see a saving of $400 off their energy bills and we could do that because we would reverse the increases of 22.5% over the last two years and then we'd put a cap on it of any further increases being at 2.5%. What I also announced today is that we would bring forward the energy bill relief that the federal and the state governments have committed to provide to concession card holders in Tasmania. Because that relief is being provided to every concession card holder in every other state this financial year except Tasmania. So that would provide additional support to Tasmanians this financial year under a Labor government, unlike the Liberals who want Tasmanians to wait another year before they start to feel some of that relief. Another question from Nick. Thanks, Nick. Uh, so my question is to Jeremy. You've been in government for 10 years. You're announcing so many policies this election. Why should we believe you in your promises when you've had 10 years to fix these issues? Thank you very much for the question. I really appreciate it. And we have come a long way over the course of the last uh, 10 years. As I've said, we've gone from economic laggard to economic leader. And Tasmanians have done this uh, together. We've created 53,000 jobs more over the course of the last, ten dec uh, last decade, including uh, 2,500 frontline health professionals, 1,390 nurses. But we recognise there's more to do. We took a clear plan to the tw 2014 election, 18 election, 21 election, and a clear plan now to the 24 elections. And elections are all about outlining strong plans uh, for the future. We have that strong plan. It is affordable, it is achievable, and it backs up how far we've come over the course of the last 10 years and the great work that you and all Tasmanians have done from taking us to, from the doldrums, effectively, from a session uh, to leading the nation on most economic indicators. We have uh, Margie now. Thanks. My name is to Germany. Um, I have an elderly friend of mine who had an accident, fell on the road, uh, ended up at the hospital uh, in an ambulance. She was five hours before she saw a doctor and then 19 hours on a trolley bed. I'm just wondering if you think that's suitable and would you be happy if that was your mum? Well, firstly, thank you for the question and I'm sorry for the experience uh, of your friend. Uh, the answer to the question is no, uh, that is not appropriate. Thank you very much for uh, the question. Uh, the answer to your question is no, uh, that is not good enough. And that's why, despite the fact we've been investing and improving when it comes to our transfer of care and the flow through the hospital system from triple zero right through to hospital discharge, investing more resources. That's why it's important uh, that we are the only party that's committed to ending ramping. And right now, we're introducing uh, the 60 minutes protocol and transfer of care to ensure we get the ambulances and the paramedics back on the road sooner. Uh, when they're back on the road, they're supporting people in need in our community, uh, such as the example on your friend that you, you mentioned before. And we're going to reduce that uh, to nation's best practice of just 30 minutes. We're going to do that in a very considered a staged matter and listen to the key clinical advice as well. Effectively, we are banning ramping. We're going to end it and we're going to go from 60 minutes to 45 minutes to just 30 minutes. So uh, people such as the situation that you and I know many other Tasmanians are in, despite the fact we've come a long way, there is a lot more to do and we can still improve and we've got the resources and the commitments to not only around the transfer of care key commitment, but also investing in more nurses and doctors as well, particularly uh, GPs in rural and regional areas. So there's, we take that pressure off our emergency department so people can be seen sooner.